this is an introductory lesson on the video camera that we use at the RPL. It's a Sony high definition video camera and uh, we're going to go through different parts as we, as we create this video. We're going to start with the simple instructions on how to plug it in. You're going to need the, the cord from, that should be with the camera. It's got two parts to it that can come apart so make sure you have both parts. This one part of the cord goes to the wall and it plugs into the transformer. And then the other end of the cord, which has a triangle on it, goes into the back of the camera. If I turn the camera around, on the left side of the camera, looking forward, at the back, there's a little door that you pop open. And the plug goes in with that triangle facing out. It's a good idea to leave it plugged in when you can. Battery works great when you can't. Okay, now that you know how to plug the camera in, let's talk about the battery for a minute. I'm going to unplug the camera, close that door back up. Notice the battery is right here and you probably should just leave the battery in the camera because the way you charge the battery is just to plug the camera in and leave the camera off and it will charge the battery. The battery release button, if you do need to change batteries, is right here and you take that, press that button and take your battery out. Simple as that. Okay, we talked about how to plug the camera in and we talked about the battery. Now let's talk about how to turn the camera on. This is the uh, switch that will do all the functions for the camera. And there's a green button that needs to be pressed to move the switch up and down. So if you move the switch, if you push the switch down, this is the edit and play button. This is for looking at any video that you've taken. Okay. Uh, straight across is off. The next one down says tape and that's what you're probably going to use to record because we uh, are using the, the, the tape inside the camera to record to. Another one below that says memory stick and you can record to a memory stick on this camera but we don't have one for it right now. So this is your record setting. Now the red button is your record and pause button. So as you're recording tape when you want to record you press the red button and when you're done recording you press it again to pause the tape. So now we're going to look at the eyepiece for the camera and the viewfinder for the camera. Now I would recommend for most things that you're going to tape you use the viewfinder. It's a lot easier than putting your face up to this and looking through it all the time. The exception might be in bright sunlight where these screens are hard to see. You may want to use the eyepiece in bright sunlight. So this is a, the, the screen for the camera and it's got a unique feature in that it's also a touch screen for some of the controls. So when you go on to the, um, the edit mode for the camera, across the bottom you'll see fast forward, reverse, pause, stop, and you actually touch the screen to control those those functions. Okay, now we're going to talk about the microphones you can use with the camera. There's two basic mic setups. This is a uh, directional microphone and it works really well. Um, the good thing about this is it picks up <clears throat> the sound that it's pointing at, kind of like a flashlight only illuminates where you point it at, uh, which is nice because you don't want to pick up background noise in the room. The alternative to that is this wireless handheld mic. And what you have to do, the mic input is on the front of the camera. So you have to put the receiver on the top of the camera. And screw it in and then you take the plug, plug it into the mic input 
and you want to turn it on and pull up the antenna for reception. And then you just use this mic like you generally would use a microphone. It should work really well. Okay, another function you're going to want to use on your camera is your zoom. Uh, and to go tight, you press forward on the button for the T, and to go wide, you press back on the button and go wide. And you can zoom in and zoom out a lot. This camera's got a really nice lens. You can uh, take a shot from far away and zoom up pretty well. So it's a, it's a nice feature. There is a photo button. If you just want to take a still photo, uh, you just press that button and it will record a shot, one shot. I, I do want to point out we talked about the record and pause button here on the switch and the zoom here. There's a secondary system on top. You might use this if you had it on a tripod to zoom in and out and record here. It's important to know the proper way to take a tape out and put a new tape into this uh, video camera because you could damage the video camera if you didn't know what you were doing. The tape goes in this part right here and there's a release switch that you pull back and open the door. Now this is a little robot and what you need to do is be patient and let it do its work. Once this pops out, you can take the tape out, you put the tape back, a new tape in, slide it in there, and then it says push right here and you push it closed and you wait. And after it's lowered itself down, you close the door. Alright, one, one uh, common mistake people make is they start to film and everything looks black. So don't forget to remove the lens clamp cover. <laughs> Okay, you've recorded your video and now you want to edit it. Maybe put it on a DVD or um, save it as a file that can go on the internet. So what you're going to need to do is hook the camera to the computer which edits the video. To do that we use this thing called a firewire and it's a special cord that allows the camera and the computer to interface So on the back of the camera, there's another door, another secret door. This one's on the right side of the camera looking forward. And the, there's actually two doors. The top door is where the fire wire goes in. And we use this, um, the, the uh, arrow side of this goes to the inside of the camera. And you just slide it into the input. So once your firewire is connected to the back of the camera, you need to connect it to the computer. Um, the end of the firewire has two bumps on it. One has numbers and one has a zero and some lines. The zero and lines go up. And you put it into the port, the third port from the back of the computer. This is your power port. This is a LAN network port. And this is your firewire port. So it's the third one. And it plugs into the computer like this. Now you're good to go.